Hello guys in Special Operations, uh, the guy that, that's going to, that will try to explain how to make particle effects in Blender, such like explosions, laser beams, and other thing you want to do, but be advised, a uh, computer, my computer is this AMD Atmon X2 dual core processor with 2.3 GHz, 1 uh, GB of DDR memory, uh, NVIDIA GeForce 6, NVIDIA GeForce 6, 512 megabytes of memory and 160 gigabytes of hard disk drive capacity. Well, here we go. The first thing you have to do is to raise this first cube that appears on the 3D view. This one. We raise it. We hold the left mouse button for a bit until pop up this translucent window. We go here in Malia, that means mesh and Icosphere subdivision so 2. You can see that, I'm, that I don't speak English, I'm not from any country that speaks. I'm from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. Hello, guys. Uh, go here now in shading menu, or you can press F5, semester. We add a new material. Okay, let's keep the sample as it's here. And let's start with the true particles. We render material as a halo. Check the oversampling, everything has changed like smoke and we go here in object uh, physics buttons this little fire equal particles in you okay we will switch now to object mode you see that this dots appear and we start look at the dots that appear press random and move to the camera let's calibrate it a bit and take a render. A big buff of smoke. Oh, that is too much particles. Okay, we're done for here. You see, or I'm trying to do, just saw what I'm trying to do. It's, you keep random as this, or if you want, you can increase it to increase the radius of the explosion. We get back here in shading and change the color. Explosions are generally orange. Or yellow, but if you're in a space fight, you can color it as blue, green, white. Okay, the size. So the let's reduce a little bit to keep the to make the render faster. And uh, let's reduce for how we'll dodge 25. And let's increase the additive. Take another render. Look, everything is changed. It's much more beautiful. It looks like an explosion, but let's animate it later. Close in the window, and we will add a texture to make a little more additive effect. We add clouds, over here clouds, and soft noise. We keep everything like this, and we get back to uh, material buttons and explosion speak. It's not good, so we go here to map two, change this color. We want I recommend blue. If everything goes right. This happens perfect. Change the color for blue and voila! A beautiful generated explosion. But this is still not good. Let's, incre let's increase the halo size a little bit more. Uh, get the camera, stay, keep the camera a little way. And here we go, we have an almost formed explosion. Nice, isn't it? Pretty nice and easy. We add it at high. Let's increase the hardness of the particles to make look them less blurry and increase the size of it as well. What happened? You you do well by taking some renders to see your results as the progress of your work. Let's see that. It's rendering. The render takes a lot. It's long in any computer. And here you see uh, an almost perfect explosion. Now we're going to give a tip. Go back here in particles and particles and make them vect. They look like a hair. See in the render.
they look like errors or traces oh, sh let me show you let me reduce the size and see Let's reduce the size of this particles oh, two let's see how wow an amazing firework an amazing firework a amazing firework explosion beautiful isn't it well you have your explosions almost done but to animate them you have to go here and click in static now we fly through we cycle through the frames and look what happened let's take a render in this frame and they're gonna appear as cascade and this will define this you will define if you want they go a little faster you go here in normal click 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 they look a lot more dispersed this person see look like a little more dispersed if you want to create a, a, a bigger and more beautiful explosion increase the number of particles from 1000 to 5000 yes yeah, pretty nice right nice isn't it Let's see wow it's nice man the first time I tried this <laughs> I almost got crazy nice too easy to make explosions here Somebody's knocking on the door just a second. Tô gravando, Lucas, espera. Well, here I am. I'm gonna close the render window. And it's basically this. It's particles will create the explosion. Let's change the color to prove that we can do every, anything, almost, almost anything with these particles. Let's make it purple. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> Switch the camera. Oh my god, <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> well, this is it. I feel happy to help, and I hope you enjoy. See you, see you later, guys, in another tutorial, maybe.